three little questions. That's all I want you to focus on as you begin the school year, or if you're already in the middle of the school year, to focus on for every single chapter. Three little questions. And I would highly recommend if you have not already taken out a sheet of paper, get ready to write these three questions down. You can also go ahead and download my assignment organizer. I'll have provided a link down in the chat or in the description down below, but I'd recommend still writing down the notes. So therefore you can kind of pretend exactly like if I was a teacher sitting in your class, like explaining this to you, just like I did as a teacher, how you fill out your assignment organizer, because these are the three questions that I would ask my students every single year, every single chapter. And we would go over this time and time again. If a student failed a test, if they failed a quiz, if they wanted to get out of my class, if they said they needed some more help or they wanted to have any kind of discussion, the first thing I would always ask them to do is take out your assignment organizer because the assignment organizer for me as a teacher gave me insights into that student's wants and needs and aspirations. So I think it's extremely important before you start your school year to have these three questions ready, to have these three questions prepared, to have taken the time because I'm telling you, if you can make these three questions questions crystal clear for you this school year, it's going to make each and every chapter and each and every time as you go through the school year so much easier. The first question, we always begin every single school year with this first question. And again, it's on the assignment organizers if you want to download it down below. But the question is, what do you want? What are you trying to achieve? And I think it's the easiest answer that a lot of students automatically go to is like, I want an A. And I'm like, do you really want an A? Like, do you know how much work sometimes getting an A is going to be? Is that what you really, really want? And I think it's important because a lot of times we just feel, oh, I want highest GPA or I want the best grade or I want to be able to understand some things. We got to understand what is it we really, really want. And also if we're willing to put in the work, the time and the effort, and we all know, of course we want an A, right? An A would be great. <laughs> and, but I think we can all maybe agree that A's are not always created equal from teacher to teacher, from course to course, from school to school. So we need to understand that even though we might want an A or it might look good, we really need to understand like, what is it that's going to drive us. This is what I really, really want, and I am willing to do anything I need to do to be able to get that A. Because when you really, really want something and you have that vision and you know where you're going, you're gonna be able to create a path. And that's what we're gonna do for these remaining questions is create a path to achieve it. But we need to understand what we're doing, right? And the one thing I talk about, is kind of a little controversial, I get it, but I had students all the time, they'd be like, oh, I have A's in all my class, except for an F with you, Mr. McGlogan. I'm like, one of the things that sometimes students would struggle like with my class or with math, and I think it was something that was rather a little bit common sometimes for math to kind of get the bad rap. But the thing that I want you to pay attention to, you don't have to get A's in everything. You don't have to have that perfect GPA. And I know sometimes we put that on a pedestal of like, that's the ideal student. That's the best student, right? But in reality, you got to focus on what is your number one job that you want to focus on, right? Maybe it could be English. Maybe it could be chemistry. Chemistry. Maybe it could be AP world. You got to understand where you are going or where you want to go and where you need to put in all your attention. I think a lot of students, they want an A just because they want the A, right? But that's not where they're going and they're not willing to put in the work. They're not willing to put in the time and the effort to get that A. And if you can understand that and you're like, Hey, you know what? I'm going into this field. Of course I want the best grade possible, but you know what? I'm going to put a hundred percent of my effort into this one class and I'm going to kind of dial down a little bit, maybe in my pre-calculus or my AP calculus class, because getting an A in that class is not as important as getting an A in maybe my Spanish class, right? So you have to understand what is you're trying to achieve. So therefore you can make sure that you are game planning how you're going to be putting your attention and your effort into the classes. And I know we all want A's and that's the greatest thing, right? I order to get A 5.0, but we know it's also unrealistic. And also, even if you do achieve it, you got to understand your why, because sometimes at one point you're going to achieve it and you need to understand what do I do next? You got to have that vision, like where you're going, because now the next thing is, which is really important because what's going to happen. The next question asks the students, and I don't tell them to write it down in their assignment organizer, but I ask them, why do you want to achieve this goal? And a lot of times I read your assignment organizer and I understand that sometimes your what <laughs> is sometimes not as personal, but the why sometimes can be. And I'm like, if you don't want to write this down, don't. I leave a little bit extra space, but I think it's really, really important to have that why and not just have this why, or not just identified, but have it written down so therefore you can see it each and every day. Because here's the thing, every year that we started school, right? Everybody is motivated in August, in September. School has just started. You just maybe taken a break. You are ready to get back in action. You're ready to see your friends. You're ready for a new opportunity, a new birth. So it's exciting, right? And we put in a lot of effort, but then guess what happens? We start to see the workload. Maybe sports and programs and all those, they start beginning. We start to get overwhelmed. We start to get stressed. Maybe some bad grades start to creep in and we start to get demotivated. So what's going to keep pushing us to that what that we are trying to achieve? And that's all about the why. 
Why are we doing it? Why are we waking up and getting our work done? Why are we staying up late and getting it done? Why are we making decisions to make things completed rather than maybe taking the easy road, maybe going, hanging out with some friends instead of doing something that's due the next day? We all have these choices on and on, but we have to understand when that why is strong enough, we are going to figure out the how to get what we want. And sometimes your why is not strong enough. I can't remember somebody saying overcoming procrastination and you always do what is most important to you. If whatever you're trying to think of your chief, I want to get a good grade in this, but if it's not really that important to you, if you don't have a strong why, you're not going to follow through. It's going to be too easy to procrastinate. It's going to be too easy to do something else instead of what you know you should be doing to achieve that A or that best grade in that class. So know your why. And I guess one of the strongest whys that I've talked about previously is what are you doing it not just for yourself, but for somebody else? Who do you want to share your accomplishments with? Who do you want to prove wrong on your accomplishment? I talk about this in my journey. My biggest why was sometimes over proving to my mom, who is also a math teacher, as well as to my guidance counselor, that I could do this. I was capable of getting my math degree because they've all seen my failures. They all saw me struggle with math. So it was so much yes, one, to prove it to myself that I could earn a math degree, but it was also to prove it to other people that I could do it. And failure was not an option. I had a very strong why, and that is the reason I believe why I was able to keep on going, why I was able to keep on staying up late, waking up early in the morning, because everybody can wake up early in the morning for a week, right? It's once you start getting to those long nights and you're really, really tired, you have to have that strong why to keep you going. Third question, and this is extremely important. We do this at the beginning of the year and every single chapter we do this. And I can tell you every single time a student ever has an issue with me, my class, their grade, we always look at this next question because it's very simple. Write down how you are going to achieve the what, right? The why is what drives you. The how is how you detail it out. I am going to do this. I'm going to do that. What are the steps that you're going to follow to achieve your A, to achieve whatever grade you're searching for, to achieve whatever learning objectives you need for every single chapter. Again, you can download this all in the assignment organizer, the link that I have down below. I detail it for every single chapter. I did this for my students. We rewrote these steps because I wanted these steps to be ingrained with the students. And again, I'm telling you, if they didn't get a good grade, I looked at the steps and said, hey, let me see your assignment organizer. Let's take it out. What are the steps that you said you are going to do, right? You wanted an A, you got an F, that sucks. So let's go and take a look at it. Why did you not get your A? Why did the F happen? We'll look at the steps and almost nine times out of 10, every single time, the steps were not followed. And we can identify why those steps were not followed. And kind of like an extra thing that we can add on to with these steps is what we can look at is the constraints. What is going to prevent you from achieving these steps? A lot of times it's great to like write down the steps. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then for you have this detailed, you have this action plan, you have this game plan. It's like the scouting report going into a game. You are prepared. You are ready for action. You know exactly how you're going to achieve your goal. But guess what? Life happens. We know things creep up. We're going to have people that are going to get in our way. We're going to have things that are going to overwhelm us and overcome us and derail us. You have to understand yourself. You have to understand what is bringing, going to prevent you from achieving your goal. And that's why I write the constraints. And it's on the assignment organizer because I know for me personally, I can write down what I want. I can write down why I want it. I can write down the steps, but if I can't clearly identify what's going to get in my way, a lot of times those things will get in and, and they'll prevent me from it. And so it's just me being crystal clear of all of these items. And I write it down my assignment organizer because guess what? This assignment organizer, we're going to use this each and every day. I write down my homework assignment on this assignment organizer. I write down my grades for my quizzes and my tests. And I look at it every single day because when you look at what you want to achieve every single day, you look at why you want to achieve this every single day. You look at the steps that you need to follow every single day and what is going to prevent you from achieving those, you're going to be on fire. And it's going to be something that's going to keep you in line and not drift off and go in a different direction and stuff like, oh crap, maybe I'm going to start focusing on something else or do something else in this grade. And when the times get tough, you know what to follow. So answer those three questions. What is it you want? Why is it you want it? How are you going to get it? And I promise you that will lead you to exactly what you need. That will lead you to a year of success. And I hope that this assignment organizer, which you can download down below, can lead you that way.